let's learn about volume. We are going to find the volume of a cube. A cube is like a square, but with six sides. And to find the volume, hopefully you're familiar with area. Remember, area means you're going to multiply two sides. Volume means you're going to multiply three sides. And the sides you're going to multiply are length times width times height. Now length means how long something is. Width means how wide something is. And height, that means how high or how tall something is. Now one of the strategies I teach my students is if we know we're going to be multiplying three numbers, as soon as we see that volume problem, Let's go ahead and prepare our paper for those three numbers. Now, where do we get the three numbers from? Well, we have to find out how many boxes are over, how many boxes are going down, and how many boxes are going across. And to do that, a strategy I teach my students is to find the Y. If you look really closely at the cube, right in the corners, you'll see why. So I teach my students to use their pencil and sort of darken in the why, the corners of the cube. This represents the length, the height, and the width. Now it doesn't matter if you put the length here, or the height here, or the width there. We're still going to be multiplying all three numbers. So, let's count. How many boxes are going over? One, two. We put that number here. How many are going down? One, two, three, four. Sometimes we call that how many layers. As though we were building a building or a cake. And finally, how many numbers are going across? One, two, three. We count three. Three boxes going across. So now we have our numbers. Two times four times three. I like to put parentheses just so that I can show that first I'm going to multiply the two numbers I see. Two times four equals eight. And now I'm going to multiply the last number, which is 3. Now some students mess up and make a mistake. They'll say 2 plus 4 plus 3. But you've got to remember, we're multiplying. No more adding. 8 times 3, you have it by now? I know you do. 24. And that is the volume of our cube.